guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, you may have noticed I've been gone for quite some time. Um, I've had a lot of stuff going on and um, today we are going to clean my table. Uh, as you can see it is a complete mess. Um, I don't know if you can see it in camera right now but there is some paint that spilled all over the place. And, um, anyways, we're going to clean that up today, and I'm going to talk about where I've been and what's been going on. So, the first thing I'm going to do is get all this clutter, um, off of my table here, and then clean the mat. That's going to be the biggest thing. So, I'm going to start just putting stuff. I have a little container here. I don't know if everything will fit in there, but, I mean, I've even got sunglasses on here why those are out here I have no clue um, and some nail stuff so we're gonna set those to the side and uh, we're just gonna organize today and talk about what's going on so I also I'll show you later I did some organizing of my drawers and labeling with my Cricut machine so again I'm just gonna dump stuff in here some of this is gonna be garbage I'm just going to throw that to the side and get in the garbage later. So I've had a lot going on the last couple months. Um, a lot of you know that my husband and I uh, house and pet sit. And the summer months is extremely busy uh, for us with kids getting out of school and everybody wanting to go on vacation. So we've been really busy with that. And... Um, also, uh, along with the pet sitting, I do, myself, I do dog walking, so I've been busy with that as well, aside from the pet sitting. But, um, one of the main reasons I've been gone, which, uh, I'm sure many of you can, uh, relate to, is that, let me see if I can bring it down really quick and, um, so... Right here where my finger is, is where the paint spilled. And it didn't actually spill. What happened was, I bought this Let's Resin Ocean White. And I was using it one day and it cracked. And so I just left it on the tabletop. And I guess it fell over and I didn't realize that it was leaking. So I came out one day and found that it had leaked all over my table here. So before I go any further with that, because I don't want to get paint all over my hands and then get it all over everything else. But anyways, that happened. Then all of this stuff just ended up on my table. I was trying to clean as I go and because I got so busy with the pet sitting, just didn't happen. And then my table started looking like this and I got a little overwhelmed and all I had to do was clean this up, uh, this paint here, and then clean everything up. And it, it's not that hard, but some of you know that it's a little, uh, it can be a little overwhelming sometimes, even if it's a small project, uh, when you, especially when you've got other things going on outside of your, uh, you know, your outside life with work and, um, you know, and all that. And I'm going to set these aside these are some molds that I've used recently um, they just need a little rinsing out they've got some dust collected in there and uh, and all that so I'm actually gonna set these aside so that I can wash those and I may speed some of this up because I don't know how long it's gonna take uh, to do all this but I'm just giving you a brief description of where I've been and you know what's going on um, but again, anyways, as I said, when things like this happen, you just get overwhelmed. And I kept telling myself every day, oh, I'm going to go do it. I'm going to go do it. And um, I just never did it. So uh, we're doing that today together. And um, yeah, we're just going to hopefully get through this and then start making some more videos. And oh, uh, the other thing I wanted to mention, I forgot, um, I recently enrolled in 
uh, Foothill College, which is near me. It's an um, I'm taking an online course uh, for video editing. So hopefully, uh, in the future, my videos will be much better than they have been. Uh, but we'll see. So I don't I don't know how I've I've had my first class was um, last Monday, and the beginning week was super easy. It was just uh, having a little pop quiz on uh, the notes that the teacher had sent us regarding the class and what it was going to entail. Um, and it was super easy, just, you know, information on the class and that kind of stuff. And then also, uh, they have what they call a discussion group within the class where everybody introduced themselves in the discussion area and um, talk a little bit about yourself and why you're taking the class and um, for me I'm taking the class for a couple different reasons one um, I have been thinking about possibly switching careers from uh, the culinary field uh, to something different whether it's this, I don't know, but it's something I've been thinking about. And um, the second reason is, you know, I make the YouTube videos here so I can learn to better edit my own videos just for personal use. <clears throat> and thirdly, um, I, I could do this as a side job, uh, you know, like do contractor work. So like work for myself, basically. Um, editing people's videos um, or I could work for a company uh, you know it all just depends but those are some options that I have I still love uh, working in the culinary field um, I'm not actually working at the moment doing that um, I've been off for about two and a half years I quit my last job uh, because well for a couple reasons one because it wasn't serving me mentally um, there was a lot of changes going on and it wasn't working out for me so I decided to quit and I had a uh, surgery uh, and I'm all healed up from that now so I've been looking and I've had a couple of job interviews the problem today I find with uh, job interviews which you know technically I haven't had a job interview uh, aside from recently in almost over 20 years because I the first job I got in the culinary field I worked at for uh, 14 years and then I left that job one of the chefs that was there uh, brought me on board to another company and so when I took that job, I really didn't interview with her um, per se uh, because I had known her so well already. Um, so technically, you know, I hadn't had a job interview in almost 20 years, it seemed like, because of the two jobs that I had. You know, so the problem I'm finding now is that I have my resume like on Indeed and places like that. And I had someone reach out to me. I had a couple people reach out to me, actually. But it was via a text message um, about coming in for a job interview. And I'm old school where I feel like uh, they should make a phone call and, you know, reach me that way. But I guess things have changed, um, you know, since the last time I looked for a job. Um, let me know in the comments if if you guys uh, experience this as well. I'm just curious Is this something new that they're doing or? Um, you know, is this just the way it is these days? Because um, I'm used to having someone either reach out through indeed um, through their messaging center or uh, By email which I have on my resume, you know places like that. So I'm just kind of unfamiliar with how you know things work these days and then the other thing I'm having trouble with which I find is just not just job related but uh, just in general is people's lack of communication so um, last Tuesday 
the person that texted me about a job that I was really looking forward to possibly getting, I set up an interview with this person. Uh, well, first someone reached out to me on Indeed, and uh, a recruiter, and said that uh, my skills from my, based on my resume looked like I'd be a good fit for the position they were hiring for. So I messaged them and said, uh, I'm definitely interested in speaking more about the, the details of the position. And a couple of days went by and I didn't hear anything. So I messaged one more time to let them know that I was still interested and I would like to talk to somebody. Uh, so then they responded by, they finally responded by saying uh, they would have someone, uh, the hiring manager, reach out to me uh, to schedule an interview. So that's when the person texted me and said um, that they we scheduled the interview for this past Friday that we just had um, for 1.30 p.m. in the afternoon. So the day, uh, the day of, on Friday morning, around 8.30ish in the morning, I texted the gentleman to confirm our uh, interview time and to find out exactly where I need to go once I get there. Uh, about an hour later goes by and I didn't get a response. So I messaged one more time because I thought I don't want to get there and not know where I'm going and be late and you know because I like to be when it comes to job interviews and things where I, I have to be a certain time I like to get there a little bit early in case I get lost or you know who whatever and he finally responded after the second text message saying sorry the position has already been filled so I was a little disappointed for two reasons one that the position had been filled because I was looking you know it was a job I was really interested in and two um, the fact that he didn't uh, message me as soon as he knew the position was filled um, and you know not even an, an I'm sorry the position has been filled it was just, it, or he did say, I'm sorry, the position has been filled, but it would have been nice if he had said, oh, I apologize for not letting you know sooner, but the position has already been filled. And I would have said, no problem, thank you. But I did say, I didn't want to be rude, but I did respond back saying, I'm glad I checked in before I came because had I not messaged him to confirm the appointment, um, I may not have received a text saying uh, that the position had been filled. Um, and I would have drove 25 minutes out of my way, not even out of my way, but just 25 minutes period to where the job was to find out that it had already been filled. And I would have wasted my time and my gas and, um, you know, so I, it's just very disheartening. And I, I feel like the job market today is very, uh, not unprofessional, but more impersonal. Um, people are not, you know, I prefer the, the old fashioned way. Maybe it's my age, I don't know, but I prefer the phone call to say, hey, you know, we saw your resume and we'd love to schedule an interview with you. Um, you know, that sort of thing. I just saw the lid for this thing and I put it somewhere. Oh, here it is. Um, so, you know, we'd love to schedule an interview with you, you know, the old fashioned way. Um, but it's just so impersonal these days. And uh, again, you know, I'd like to know your thoughts uh, of those of you who are looking, you know, who have been looking for a job. Um, you know, what's it like for you? And maybe it's the field I'm in. I, you know, I don't know. Um, because before culinary, I used to work in uh, doctor's offices at like the front desk area and um, you know things might be different uh, for different um, you know areas of work and that sort of thing so I'm just curious to know but anyway um, so yeah so back to the video editing I started my video editing class and um, last Monday so I think this coming uh, Monday uh, today's Sunday so tomorrow will be Monday is going to be the first like real portion of the class where I have to uh, read up on I think the history of video editing and that sort of thing so 
that will be interesting to learn about. And each week there's basically a, um, like either a reading, uh, like some sort of reading assignment. Um, at some point in time, there will be uh, actual video editing once we, you know, get deeper into that. But, um, I think for the first few weeks, the easy, the, the, the there's two classes. This is the first one. And my cousin-in-law took the, took them both. And he said, this is the easier of the two. It's just, um, I'm sure the, the second video class is definitely more, uh, video editing and that sort of thing. But, uh, so who knows where this will go. We'll see what happens. But, Again, I just you know want to get this all cleaned up and and um, get back to making videos. And I, I think doing this online course has motivated me a little bit to uh, you know get back into things because I, I feel like it's been I'm not even sure exactly, but I feel like it's been at least like three months or something since. Um, I've done, uh, you know, a video. Um, I actually had, I think I actually had one um, done quite some time ago, but I never uploaded it because um, it didn't come out. And, you know, I could still upload videos that don't work out just to show you that, you know, not everything's perfect and... And actually, I have them right here. I did these uh, coasters. I don't think I uploaded these. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't. But I tried using some new... Uh, I think they're pearl paints. I'm going to have to do some research on how to use those. Because I used black uh, resin. And then I put the colored pigment in it and did like a layered effect. Um, and I'm not sure if it shows up on camera, but it's barely, uh, no, the colors are barely noticeable. And I'm looking, as I'm holding it up to the light, I can actually see through the back the colors. Um, oh wow, that's cool. So if I hold it up to the light, I can really see it. You guys can't see it because, um, my light is above, but let me see if I push my ring light down a little bit if you can see. So I, I don't think you guys can see, let me see if I turn it this way. I don't think you guys can see because you're just seeing the ring light reflection. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'll have to look when I edit the video if you guys can see that or not. But anyway, um, so I didn't like the way they turned out. They just look like nothing. They just look like black coasters to me. So I wasn't really happy with them. Um, but anyway, so that's pretty much where I've been and what's going on. I've just been, uh, after this mess on my table, uh, after the spill really, is when things just started piling up on the table and I just got unmotivated. And um, I would look out here all the time and be like, oh, I need to clean this. And um, I, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I just, I don't know what it was exactly, but um, I was just really having a hard time so here we are now cleaning it, um, and we'll see what happens here. But I'm going to um, take these mats off here as well. I'm not sure what the best way to clean that paint up is going to be. Um, that's going to be an interesting uh, thing to do here. Um, this is going to go in the garbage because I got paint all over it and, um, well, I'll see if I can maybe, um, where's my paper towels? Um, oh, that's the other thing is I need to add some things to my desk here. Like I've got this paper towel holder that is supposed to, um, either screw on or tape on to the desk, which I tried taping it on, but the stuff didn't stick very well. So... Uh, I don't know about that, but I'm going to see if I spray some, not spray, but if I put some alcohol on here, if it will, if it will help remove the paint from this. Mm. 
Oh, not bad. I'll probably have to take it to the sink too and really, really get it off. Yeah, I got most of it off, but I'll have to take it to the sink and wash it the rest of the way. And unfortunately, I was going to try to save that paint, but because it's been sitting so long, um, it's got dust particles and everything in it because above me, there's like a, a skylight <coughs> that opens up. Um, and when it's windy, uh, stuff just blows all around in here and uh, gets everywhere. I think. Um, yeah, so it just gets everywhere over here. So unfortunately, this is going to have to go in the garbage. And that stuff, it wasn't super expensive, but it wasn't cheap either. I feel like it was, I don't know, 9 or $10, something like that. But I only got, you know, a few uses out of it because of um, uh, before it spilled. So... And I've got, let's see, I've kind of got some new ideas coming for some things, uh, some videos, so uh, be on the lookout for that. What is this? Remote, oh, remote shutter. Um, I just, I don't know where this has been, but I just found a little owner's manual for this remote shutter that I haven't tried using yet uh, for my camera. I don't know if it even works with this camera. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not even sure remember where this came from. Um, but I'm going to have to figure that out and see if I can, um, if I can use that for something. That way my camera doesn't get all messy. Um, cause that's a problem with my camera, uh, getting dirty with resin and stuff all over it. So, um, so yeah, so there's that. So anyways, guys, that's just kind of where I've been and what I'm doing and maybe where I'm going. Who knows? Um, I feel like the wanderer or like a drifter right now trying to figure out what my next move is. Um, so we shall see. But the rest of this, I am going to just fast forward really quick because I'm sure you don't want to sit here and watch me wipe paint away. Ugh. <sighs> Alright guys, so this is the table all cleaned off. It's about as good as it's going to get because some of that stuff, uh, like the paint here, I mean if I maybe scrubbed hard enough or used something other than uh, alcohol, it may come off. I'll try that later. But for now, this is the table all cleared off. I have this tub which I filled everything from the table and put in here to go through. I'll do that later because I know you guys don't want to see me do that. And I have it sitting on top of my uh, leveler, my table leveler that I have because I'm not sure what happened, but something was on it that might have been kind of heavy and it kind of um, made it bow in a little bit and that makes for an uneven table. 
uh, when doing the resin work. And you, as you know, you want to have it, you know, fully level and um, otherwise your stuff's not going to cure properly. So I'm going to show you now, I'm going to move over to my Michael's uh, drawers um, over here. Don't mind my cricket box. This is my uh, traveling uh, cricket bag. Um, I had my Cricut out because, as you can see, I was using it to label my um, my drawers. So now I put things in where they go. Stickers, instant transfers, water slides, um, transfer tape, and scraps. So any scrap pieces that I have, like little pieces like this, um, or scrap pieces of transfer tape I put in there. Uh, this is all permanent vinyls. Uh, also permanent vinyls down here except I'm missing the sticker for that I have to print another one um, another permanent vinyl um, I've got a lot of permanent vinyls because a lot of this vinyl I bought like almost four years ago now uh, when the pandemic started because that's when all this art that I started doing uh, that's when I started all this and I didn't know what the difference was uh, between the vinyls this is also permanent vinyl and this is HTV iron-on, which I did not know what that was. I just thought there was only one vinyl and that was it. Um, so at some point in time, I did go and buy the Cricut Press. It's been sitting in the box probably for two years. Haven't touched it yet. Um, kind of nervous about that. But if you guys have done iron-on shirts, let me know. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm curious, uh, I just, you know, I don't have too many of those, because once I realized what it was, I didn't buy any more, because at the time, I didn't have a, uh, the, the, uh, Cricut Press. And these are just some lids and straws, um, to my cups that I have. I have a bunch of glitter here that I'm going to buy a container for, uh, at the dollar store, um, I actually bought one for something else. It's a collapsible container. And um, oh, these need to go in here too. I have just some stuff sitting here that needs to go and be organized. Like these are some dried flowers here. So that's going to go in with the stickers and water slides and all that. Uh, but anyways, I bought some uh, a collapsible container from the dollar store to actually put our... Uh, clients pet sitting cards uh, with all the information and then I thought oh I could use them for this glitter because I need to put this somewhere I feel like it's I had it in the top drawer here but I feel like it's taking up too much space so uh, or not too much space but it's taking up uh, useless space when I could put something else in there so we will see um, you know I can show you that later I have to go to the dollar store and actually get another one um, but anyways, the craft room is coming along slowly but surely. Uh, I mentioned uh, several videos ago that um, I'm going to put you back on my tripod here real quick. I might be a little bit crooked, but and I'm sorry about the stuff. Oops. Sorry about all the stuff in the background that you guys can see, but at some point in time, all of that is going to get reorganized as well. So, um, as I was saying that, uh, at some point in time, uh, behind me right here, like you see behind me here, but I say behind me, in front of me actually, is a big hot tub that is not working. It's broken. And that is going to be getting out of here at some point in time. And this room is going to, uh, get a remodel and then a remake of the way this stuff is organized because right now... It is a complete and utter mess, as you can see. Um, and that's part of the reason why I have a hard time with crafting is because sometimes it's hard to find things. And I try to grab everything I need for the video just before I do it. But occasionally, as I'm taping, uh, I remember something I need and I can't find it or, you know, who knows. Uh, so, um, we will see... Uh, it's probably going to be a while because unfortunately the contractor that does the work is very busy and um, he's also someone we know so it's you know it's um, uh, and he's just a busy guy so it, it'll probably be a little while before that happens but 
I'm trying to get as organized as I can in the meantime uh, with my own stuff, as you can see with the labeling and all that, so that I know where everything is. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it as far where I've been and um, all that good stuff. So, you know, let me know in the comments uh, if you guys struggle with the same thing with motivation and um, you know, something happens and then it's just kind of like a downward spiral from there and you just end up uh, putting it to the wayside. And uh, that's pretty much what happened to me. But hopefully, um, since I'm taking this video editing class, this will help, um, you know, motivate me a little bit more to, uh, you know, do my YouTube videos and to also maybe, like I said, if, if I turn out to understand more of it and, and get better at it, um, you know, maybe I could do some side, you know, uh, freelancing work and that sort of thing. So that is it for today's video, guys. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to see uh, future videos. And they won't all be as boring as this one <laughs> with the cleaning. Um, and I will do my best to keep this area clean so that I don't have that happen again. And, you know, in the words of Yoda, what is it? Do or do not. There is no try. So, I am going to do, not try, or do not. Um, what? In the words, I'm going to do and keep this thing clean so that I can keep making videos for you guys. And if you guys have ideas, actually, one last thing. Um, one of the other reasons, which is... A pretty big reason actually is that when I make these items I have to store them somewhere once they're cured or dried or whatever it is that I'm you know working with and I try to go to markets you know uh, arts and crafts fairs things like that to sell these items but you know I only sell so much at one time and um, selling them is a big factor I need to get these things out of here so that I can start making more because I can't just keep producing and producing and have this stuff just laying around in the room and nowhere to put it. So that's, you know, uh, that's not good, a good, you know, good thing to have. So if you guys have ideas, I've tried Facebook Marketplace. I've tried, um, there's a next door app that you can sell things on. Uh, I've tried several different places to try to sell things. I even tried building my own website on this ship for shop I think it's called and I had trouble with that um, with one issue that I haven't resolved yet but that was gonna be one way that I could sell and ship to people um, but anyway so that's a big issue if you guys have ideas on how to sell these items or where to sell I would love to hear it um, hopefully you've made it this far to the video if you have Please give a thumbs up in the uh, comments down below. And that's it for today's video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.